Hey everybody, this is Wall. Um, this is on my gaming channel, but I'm gonna. I, I'm thinking about actually doing less games and more rights amendments podcasts, recorded podcasts. Maybe do a live one here and there. I just don't know yet. Today, I want to talk about the Second Amendment. Um, there's been a lot of hysteria uh, from the left and right about this whole thing. Uh, a lot of, I've noticed a lot of people on social media on the right side of the aisle that want us, Hey, the second amendment's great and it's awesome. And the problem is, is people on the left use an emotional train wreck response to debate you. You have to make sure the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed and your ducks are in a row. Let's, let's start this by saying you know, there's a general misconception is that any statute passed by legislatures bearing the appearance of law constitutes a law of the land. False. The U.S. Constitution is the supreme law of the land, and any statute to be valid must be in agreement. It is impossible for a law which violates the Constitution to be valid. This is succinctly stated as follows. All law which are repugnant to the Constitution are null and void. Marbury versus Madison. Okay? Where rights secured by the Constitution are involved, there can be no rule making or legislation which would abrogate them. Miranda versus Arizona. You can look all these laws up for yourself. It's it's on it's on the web. I'm using the Supreme Court rulings to discuss the Second Amendment. Now let's take the uh, Marbury versus Madison a little further here, okay? The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Those are very simple words set a clear standard on the government's inability to infringe on our right to own firearms. This right, the Second Amendment, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It existed prior to the formation of the government and was in no way granted to the people by the government. That means it's a secured right. As such, the Second Amendment is a restriction on the government and is not in any form a privilege granted to the people. <coughs> As such, right? Here's where we bring in Marbury versus Madison. The Supreme Court ruled in Marbury versus Madison that no provision of the Constitution is designed to be without effect. Anything that is in conflict is null and void of law. As such, any control or restriction placed over a particular firearm is an infringement on the people. Anything that prevents citizens from purchasing a firearm or requires them to turn in their weapons goes against the Second Amendment. Let me restate that. That directly goes against a secured right before the government was ever formed. Now, I'm going to talk about, now I'm going to talk about like, permit to purchases, licenses, CCWs. This is a big part of the debate right now. Further, current laws involving a permit or license to purchase, possess, or carry are unconstitutional. This was made clear by Murdoch versus Pennsylvania. A state may not impose a charge for the enjoyment of a right granted by the federal constitution. <coughs> Excuse me for that. No state may convert any secured liberty into a privilege and issue a license and a fee for it. The Second Amendment is very much a secured right. Also, the Supreme Court clearly ruled in Shuttlesworth versus Birmingham that if the state does convert your right into a privilege and issue a license and a fee for it, you can ignore the license and fee engage in the right with impunity. The fact that these uncon unconstitutional laws can be ignored 
was also made clear by the Supreme Court in Norton v. Shelby. An unconstitutional act is not law. It confers no rights. It imposes no duties. It affords no protection. It creates no offit. It is in legal contemplation as an operative as though it was never been passed. This sets a clear standard that any law regarding a concept, uh, yeah, any law regarding a constitutional can be ignored, right? So if you're literally making a law, if people on Capitol Hill make a law, right? If it goes against the constitution, it can be ignored. Second Amendment is a secured right. So any CCWs, any fines you have to pay, or not fines, but any payments you have to make for fingerprints, or, all that stuff can be ignored by the Supreme Court. They've already ruled on this. The debate is over. And trying, uh, with regard to trying a citizen, it is important to remember that Byers versus the United States, in which it was ruled that constitutional provisions for the security of a person and property are to be liber liberally construed, and it is a duty of courts to be watchful for the constitutional rights of the citizen and against any stealthy encroachments. This decision was also clearly upheld in the decision of Boyd versus the United States. So we have Byers versus the United States. Now we're on Boyd versus the United States. This is important. The court is to protect against encroachment of constitutionality or secured liberty for the people. Remember that when you were brought in front of, of officers of the court, that those officers of the court have no immunity when violating constitutional rights from liberty. They don't. To summarize, the court has to uphold the Second Amendment and any constitutional liberty in favor of the beneficiary of the Constitution, which is the people. Any officer of the court that fails to do so is liable for violating the people's constitutional rights. So if somebody breaks into your house and they're trying to hurt you and you shoot them, if you're arrested and go in front of a court, that court has to, they have to, by Byers versus United States and by Boyd versus United States, they have to protect your Second Amendment right. It's secured. It's not a privilege granted by the federal government or the state government or your local government. There's many rights that we have that can't be infringed. If we allow the encroachment on the Second Amendment or the First Amendment, who's going to stop the invasion of all the other rights that we have? Everybody is focusing, you know, you have people, certain people on the right, you know, complaining every day on social media about the First Amendment of right, and some are reporters, right? Infowars, lots of lawsuits at Georgetown, you know, lawsuit against, uh, I think it's Gateway Pundit, um, Lee McAdoo from Infowars, Alex Jones, Lee Stranahan. Because that's on the First Amendment right deal, okay? They're literally attacking the First Amendment, the Second Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, I believe also to some degree the Seventh and Eighth Amendments, all right? If, if, if we can't have an honest debate about what's going on socially in this country, without using kids as props or tools. Where have we come? My suggestion is find people in your community that are like-minded and fight the system because the law is on our side. I have given you 
what I have researched for the last couple of weeks and read, I will, if, if anybody sees this and they want, I can post, you know, some of the Supreme Court rulings if you want to look them up. I hope to add an open letter, you know, to... For the for the um, that you can send to the president, let me see if I can find it. All right, I'll 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 do it right here. Um, I wrote this during you know, um, the Obama administration, and. I, I, I made it as an open letter to any government official. Um, basically, I just put it as to whom it may concern. I can post this um, with the video if you want. We have the God-given right to keep and bear arms, to self-defense, etc., etc. Our Declaration of Independence recognizes that our rights come from God and uh, are unalienable. In addition, the Second Amendment to our federal constitution recognizes that, that this God-given right to keep and bear arms is to be free from any interference whatsoever from the federal government. Our framers were all for an armed American people. They understood that arms are the ultimate defense in the event the federal government over, oversteps its bounds. Guess what? Look at what we're seeing today. They are way overstepping their bounds. If you look up uh, James Madison, father of our Constitution, writes in the second half of the Federalist Paper number 46, the reason the citizens, the militia, are armed is to defend ourselves, our families, our neighborhoods, communities, and states from an overreaching, tyrannical federal government. Furthermore, the federal government, nowhere in the Constitution, granted authority to restrict in any fashion whatsoever guns, ammunition, etc., Thus, all laws made by Congress, all regulations m made by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, BATF, are unconstitutional and outside the scope of the powers granted to Congress and the executive branch by our Constitution. Regulation of arms and ammunition is not one of the powers delegated to Congress or the executive branch. Furthermore, all pretended regulations made by the BATF are also unconstitutional, as in violation of Article 1, Section 1 of the Constitution, which vests all legislative powers granted by the Constitution in Congress. Executive agencies has, have no lawful authority whatsoever to make rules or regulations of general application to the people. In addition, the President and the Senate may not lawfully by treaty do anything the constitution does not authorize them to do directly since the constitution does not authorize a federal government to disarm us the federal government may not lawfully do it by treaty what i'm telling you is if you're gonna have the debate if you're gonna post on social media know your facts you have to know your facts. They're going to disagree with you. You have to know that going in. Don't get caught in their trap of the left. They want you to get upset, angry, and end the debate that way they feel they won. Make sure everything is in a row. You have to. This isn't, this isn't about right or left anymore. I am sorry to tell you that. This is about rights. This isn't about faith. I know some people, myself included, I have faith. I, I believe in God. I'm a, uh, I'm a Christian. I get it. This is a this is a battle between good and evil. 
you have evil people. If you're not going to, and I'm talking to the people on the right right now that don't have a lot of faith. If you don't, make sure you use facts. I really don't want to ramble here. That's all I really wanted to say. I hope this finds you and finds you well. Peace and God bless. And um, let me know in the comments what you thought. Let me know if you believe I'm wrong. Just don't tell me I'm wrong. And don't call me names. Prove it with facts. I'm not about conjecture. I want facts. I've spent weeks researching this. I don't mind having a debate. So anyway, guys, thank you for listening.